the boosters for the plant pulled out the card of if we don't get the, if we don't become the new rocky flats if we don't accept this dangerous new work not that they would ever say it was dangerous but if we don't accept this new work then they'll close the plant and Amarillo will lose one of its largest employers and it will be a devastating blow so that was that was the main dynamic here you you should support your country patriotically so we should be doing this because our country needs nuclear weapons and you if we don't buy into this thing that people in Colorado and around Denver drummed out of its neighborhood, if we don't accept that, they'll close our plant. And so they just were using that fear tactic of having this huge economic hit on our city as one of the ways they drove that, that uh, discussion and polarized people into saying, they used the slogan, Pantex, yes. Not a lot of detail, just say yes. <laughs> My country right or wrong, that really is what it was like. They really questioned your patriotism if you question. And uh, it's an uncomfortable position to be in. But one of the things that we would find, I generally wound up being the person who represented Stand, is um, to remind people, it's, an activist is always so at risk of becoming so cynical and so bitter that it's almost unbearable to stay inside your own skin and you begin not to be able to talk to people because you're too overwhelming to talk to. It seems too hopeless and too uh, um, too black and so you just you you don't even want to join that group it just you don't want your spirit to just go that dark route. And I always tried to take the tack of talking about what our country should be. And we will do for our country what the country truly needs. But our government must ask for what it needs, no more, no less. And it was asking for more than it needed. It must be willing to invest in it and do it in a top drawer way, a safe way, so that we're not destroyed doing the work if we take it on. And it's got to tell us. It has got to give us the details. It cannot expect us should not expect any citizen to sign on to an undefined program, to a blank check, and just say, we trust you, go ahead and do it. It's our responsibility to learn and judge and back it if we believe in it and question it if we think it is insufficient. And that's how I would talk to people. It was like playing a role in your country, the very role your country needs you to play. It eventually caused me to redefine my definition of, of patriotism. That I, I finally decided that in this area we were a little too inclined to the heroic version of patriotism, the being willing to die for your country. That's patriotism. And I began to tell people that I think the patriotism your country needs the most is to be willing to think for your country and to do the work day in and day out and stay the course, and anything else, anything less, you betray your country. So, and people responded to that. 